Your mistress. Jesse, put your what? Lisa. Okay. Uh, no, but he, you know where he sleeps, so. And, and you're tough. We have to interrupt the patterns of complaining and begin thanking God because the scripture says, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God. I am tired, I am tired, I am sick and tired of watching Christians, leaders, sit there and complain about the President of the United States and about the Congress and about the border. And about, shut up and start doing something about it. She was so, so prejudiced and so biased. And she was like, all these little brown-eyed children that they want to bring up here with their communicable diseases. I was like, oh my God, do you remember? It wasn't that long ago, 200 and some odd years ago, that your skanky relatives with all their diseases came from Ireland and from all the other parts of the world. Well, hello. I ain't not, look, I'm not preaching against my wife is part Irish, so I ain't, I'm not pointing the fingers at anybody. No, I'm trying to stir somebody up to say, you know what? Yeah, no, nobody is perfect. No Congress, no President, no Senate, no House is perfect. But thank God we got a House. Thank God we got a Congress. Thank God we got a Senate. Thank God we got a President. Thank God we don't have a Putin.
through it. If you have an ear to hear, God will speak to oh, you yeah. through a donkey. Yeah. 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 And it, I won't spoil it, but in the movie, Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> It's just about something happens that she's able to use 100% of her brain. Because as we have been, uh, we, we've been told uh, by Einstein and other scientists who have studied the mind and the, and the, the power of the brain, that we use about 10%. So we all don't know. <laughs> But the more we are able to harness the power of our minds, the more we are able, and this is, this can, you, can, you can look at it and accept it via scientific proof, and you can look at it via faith and spiritual level, because on both levels, on both universes, this is true. Yes. The power of your thoughts, the power of your brain has the power to either create or to tear down. Yeah. Amen. And it will either create faith to believe that God can move anything. He can stir the molecules of the air. That God can go behind the scenes, behind the curtain, and do much more than what we see on this temporal yeah. Because that's where God works. And the more we harness our minds and convince and interrupt the patterns of doubt in a belief yeah. and question. Yeah. I mean, as children, we're born with absolute faith. We are completely in, trusted, like Aaliyah trusting Jeremy as a father. Total trust. But the time will come when she will say, Ooh, Daddy Jeremy, he need a papa. <laughs> my little niece, uh, Andrea, what's her name? Adriana. <laughs> my favorite little niece, what's her name? <laughs> Audrey. Adriana Noel, hair. She is something else, but she, oh, she is, she got a hold of something. And, 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 and every time I tell her, I go, Audrey, who cut your hair? Because she and her little brother, her older brother, got a hold of some scissors. And she ended, came in with a scalp, <laughs> crown of her head, the hair all gone. Her shirt was cut, his shirt was cut. My daughter's bedspread was cut, snipped. A calendar was cut into. I'm sorry, Kel said, Doctor, don't be preaching about us tomorrow. <laughs> sorry. And all these things, the, the calendar was cut out. To, thank God there was no blood. That was the only miracle of the whole thing. Amen. But, but, but Audrey, I say, Audrey, what happened? Oh, no, she goes, Samuel got my hair. And I go, what does Samuel mean? He needs a pow pow, doctor. <laughs> and the switch. <laughs> right? And it gets better. She goes, and Uncle Jeremy needs a switch. <laughs> Certain something, I don't know, I'm just saying. <laughs> but when we begin to harness the power of our brains yes. and our minds and bring them into agreement, yeah. come on, agreement center. Yeah. to 
you guys in the back, everybody, just, just lift your hands and surrender two seconds. Lord, I surrender and, and ask God just right now in your spirit. Ask him to interrupt the patterns of your thoughts. Okay. Hallelujah. Let's move on. See, you're, 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 you're going to need a sound mind to get through the coming days. And again, I'm not trying to scare anybody. I'm not about fear mongering. That's just, that, that does not, I don't like that because we serve a great God. So we got nothing to be afraid of. The warnings and the things that God is saying in this word is not to scare the, excuse me, the hell out of you. Come on, get over it. I, like you didn't say, say it with hello. I said it in a clean way. The Bible speaks of hell. Y'all don't say it the wrong way. Amen. That's a bad word. Okay, watch this. God allows. This is why I hate when people get up to testify and they give glory to the devil. Yeah. It absolutely irks me because I want you to know that the devil was defeated. Amen. He was stripped of his power. Yeshua went, took the keys Whoa. of the kingdom to full authority. So it is not a devil knocking at your door. It is not a devil trying to attack your body, trying to make you fall. Oh, I, okay, I'm going to try to hurry up. you got to quit. You, you, 
You've got to quit loving things. And I, and I listen, I'm a proponent. I, people look at me, man, you got more jewelry, you got more bracelets. Look, all of my Sunday Mickey's, and I'm wearing them because they're cool, and all the cool dudes are wearing these kind of bracelets. And because it matches, and because I care. Okay? Because I got a wrist to put them on. Okay? And the bling bling ring, y'all know it was my mama's wedding, wedding set. And, and Trina's wedding set, and, and people's, my sisters, and, and it was a conglomeration of people that, that some that love me. <laughs> Hello. Listen. Li See, you've got to, you, you've got to, I, I used to walk around like a funny guy, old preacher. I was, because they were comparing me to some of the, some of the great ministries, and they were going, oh, you're going to be the next, this person and that person. And, and I was like, I just want to be me. I gotta be me. I gotta be me. And, and you know, I've always been a little bit Hollywood. <laughs> Why is he preaching about it? I'm not preaching about myself. I'm just the guinea pig. I'm just showing you when you break out of your patterns. And sometimes when you break out of your patterns, the people are going to look at you and say, he crazy. <laughs> but you know what they said about Yeshua? They said that he crazy. The son of God. I could just people hear people say, well, I was watching YouTube and I was watching that crazy Dr. Thomas and he said he was the son of God. He's crazy. He's a heretic. Oh, I'm in good company. Amen. 